One of the most important features of Baixa Pombalina, Lisbon's downtown rebuilt after 1755 earthquake, is the set of provisions designed and incorporated in the buildings by the Portuguese engineers at that time, with the objective of providing resistance to new earthquake. Unfortunately, many of the interventions in Baixa Pombalina buildings have been done by demolishing all the interiors and constructing a steel or enforced concrete structure inside. This is a wrong approach in terms of heritage because an important part of the building is lost. Its original anti-seismic structure, recognized by the scientific community as being a relevant innovation, the Gaiola birdcase construction. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. In the rehabilitation of this Rua do Comércio building, the original structure was maintained, the degraded wooden framework was rebuilt, the wooden floors were consolidated, and the connections between the different structural elements were strengthened, preserving its relevant features and avoiding increasing the building's mass and stiffness. The building brought together at the outset several characteristics that pointed to the need for a particularly restrained intervention. The exterior configuration corresponded to the original design by the team of Manuel da Maia, the chief engineer in charge of the post-1755 reconstruction, that is, the building had escaped the wave of additions of floors that occurred mainly from the 50s of last century. It preserved, albeit with accentuated degradation, the original roof with its emblematic dormers. Inside, the Pumbalino constructive design was maintained, relatively little altered, consisting of orthogonal bracing walls in wooden frame, infilled with rubble masonry, the Pombalino frontal uh, lattice. The structure of the floors was also the original, consisting of boards on wooden joists. The building was, in short, a remarkably preserved example of the structural concept of Pombalino reconstruction, internationally recognized as one of the first attempts to construct buildings capable of resisting earthquakes. The intervention performed consisted of three consecutive phases. A, the repair and reinforcement of the original structure, mainly by improving the wall-to-wall -wall and floor-to-wall -wall connections, and consolidation of the floors by increasing the number of beams. B, improvement of the overall structural functioning by adding a system of ties with ductile anchors in the two main directions. And C, in what concerns the technical installations, it was decided to dispense with the mounting of an elevator. The choices made in the scope of the structural improvement of the building under consideration added up to a relevant set of advantages, among which stands out the possibility of safeguarding its integrity and authenticity, and in this way, its historical cultural value. The solution found also allowed for a lower material, labor and energy consumption and less production of rubble and other waste, translating into the reduction of both costs and environmental impact.